Okay, here is a informational only video on what I'm doing, how I've drilled a well in the past, the way I'm gonna drill this well, that's going down to 320 feet. I went 200 feet in the past. I got a well back there that's drilled 200 feet. Um, water is not great. It's not the water I want. I want to go to the aquifer, which is at 320 feet in our area. Now, this is how I'm doing it. This is what I am using to drive my pipe. It's a 43cc auger. Take the auger off. I've got some swivel here that works great. Um, just drill some holes through the middle. If anybody wants to know uh, how I built that, I'll take it apart, show you how I built it. It's pretty simple. But attach it to here. I've taken it off because I obviously need to use my auger. And I'll weld this back on here and I'll screw my pipe to here, pump my water through here. Three quarter inch will only get me so far as far as having enough volume versus pressure. I cannot overcome the pressure with this pump with having a small pipe at 300 feet. It's not gonna happen. This is the bit I'm using. This was a freebie. It was a bit that was given to me in the oil field. Um, did 23 years in the oil field. I was given this bit over time. It just sit here and I thought, hmm, I want to drill me a water well. So what I did was put one of these uh, couplings, just welded on top of there, screwed three quarter inch pipe in there, which I'll have to do another one because I broke it off. I'll cut it off right here, put another one, screw three quarter inch pipe. It's a six and an eighth bit, and we're running four inch casing. Now, instead of going all the way with the three quarter inch pipe and spending the money to buy two inch pipe or inch and a quarter pipe that will give me enough volume to keep the coal clean down to 320 feet, I'm going to drill with the four inch PVC pipe with this for one reason because this is a low torque which will get our torque from here this gearbox but it has a clutch in here i run this at low rpms but not necessarily at low rpms but as i don't have it wide open spinning as fast as it can go because i want this to stall out and it has a clutch in here that will stop turning to keep from tearing things up snapping pipe off which is very easy to do i'm using that pump it's around 160 gallons a minute i think it is not 100 sure got it from harbor freight if you want to know what it is go look it up anyway that covers the bit covers the swivel that's what i'm going to start out with We'll walk around here. And I'm just using three quarter inch pipe. I have nine joints right here. I know that I can get down to 90 feet with no problem with that volume and get the hole clean. Then I will start with, pull it back out, use four inch PVC pipe with the screen on it I will connect it to it with a float in it to keep from backflow. For when the back side of the hole gets heavier than the inside of the hole, it's gonna YouTube and come back up through the bit, which causes sand to get in there and plug it up. You have to pull everything out if you can get it out without circulating to clear your bit out. So I'm gonna put a float in there to prevent the, the YouTube effect. And this is the well that I drilled out here before. Added on 15 foot to my shop because I need more. If anybody wants to see anything about that, I'll uh, I'll make a video on how I'm doing that. Think 
go round to This well here is at 200 feet. Has good clear water, has plenty of water coming out of it. I'm gonna use this to drill my other hole, water supply. It does have iron ore in it. Um, I think it's uh, more expensive to hook up things to filters and uh, salt, uh, those salt tablets, machines to get the iron out which doesn't get all the iron out so I'm going down to the aquifer where we have good clean water now I said all that to say three okay I found this at a uh, hardware store blue building I got a two inch bushing to threaded inch and a half I'm gonna screw into here Pump in this side. I found these lightweight bushings. Not too fond of these bushings. I don't think they're very stout, but it's not a, uh, not a lot happening up here. Besides this pipe rotating through it and the pressure. I'm gonna glue these and I'm also gonna put these bands on there hopefully a hole I don't expect that much pressure I'm thinking a hold if it don't I'll do something else we got these bushings to go inside here which is an inch and a half by two inch slide right in here they're ribbed on both sides the pipe fits in here excellent I believe it'll seal off um, I'll also glue that and put a band over it. Like all I'm saying is, is the pipe is just going to be turning inside of here. We're going to pump through here. The pipe will have perforated holes in here to pump down the pipe. This goes on here, goes in here. I will show what it looks like whenever I get it finished and get it added on there. So, if you like my videos, just uh, like, comment, subscribe. I got more videos coming. I'll show you my whole video process, um, my drilling rig and everything, step by step.